guys, and welcome back to another Found Bits video right here on Tetra Bay Gaming, the series where we revisit some lost bits that have been found. As some of you may know, along with the recent release of Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch, a new update to the game was added. Now this update has added several things to the game that, as I discussed in my Cuphead Lost Bits video, were once unused. Before we dive into these changes, I would like to thank Parsec for sponsoring this video. If you don't know, I've worked with Parsec in the past and they offer a fantastic free service which allows you epic gamers to access your games anywhere on most devices. Parsec is latency obsessed and can even stream games up to 4K at 60 frames per second. And here's my favorite part. In addition to being able to play your PC games on your phone, tablet, or other remote device, with their co-play feature, Parsec allows you to easily play co-op and multiplayer games online with your friends, even if the games don't normally have online play. This is perfect for games like Cuphead, if you want to play online with a friend. Parsec has a simple-to-use friendship and invite system, or if you don't have any friends online at the same time, they also have a new feature called Party Finder, which lets you join parties with other gamers around the world to play local multiplayer games online. So if you want to check this out, you can find the link to download Parsec at the top of the description, and thank you to Parsec and you guys for supporting me as a creator. Anyways, with all of that fun stuff out of the way, let's go over the changes. So first up, in my Lost Bits video, I discussed this radish enemy that was once planned to appear in the Botanic Panic fight alongside the other vegetables there. Now at the time, all that was known about this enemy came from various unused animations that some fans, namely Nervatel, were still able to actually load into the game. Well, since then, in this latest update, the enemy was actually officially added in a bit of a secret alternate path. Alright, get a pen and paper out, the process is quite tough. In order to now see this enemy, you have to... not attack Weepy the Onion here. Yeah, that's it. Really easy. After a short while, this Onion Boy will retreat back into the ground, and right after, the Radish enemy will pop out, and then fight you alongside Carrot Lad over here. The Radish plays pretty much like we already expected, basically just spinning around from side to side. Just as I thought, I'm sure initially this radish must have been scrapped pretty late in the game's development, but it's cool to see the developers at Studio MDHR decided to add it back in. Unfortunately though, there's still the other unused vegetable boss, Betty Beat, who is also believed to have once been part of this fight too. From these unused graphics, we can see she would cry and apparently reluctantly throw what appears to be her own baby offsprings, which would explode into some beet juice. Yeah, I guess it makes sense why Betty Beat hasn't been brought back. Oh well, maybe in the next update. Next difference in the update is the fight with Jimmy the Great. Now I don't think I mentioned this in my Lost Bits video, but originally there was also this set of glowing unused graphics for the Cuphead marionette known as Puphead in the fourth phase of the Jimmy fight. Although these glowing graphics aren't quite what was added, there's actually another secret that was. As Jimmy is using his mind-reading powers at the end of the third phase, if the player shrinks down into the mini-plane form, instead of proceeding into the fourth phase with the regular Puphead, Jimmy will pull up a tiny version of Puphead instead and skip right to the fifth phase. Here the mini Puphead will dance around and then sit in the middle of the three rotating pyramids, and then start shooting projectiles either clockwise or counterclockwise. Additionally, since the fourth phase is skipped, Jimmy does have considerably more health than normal, which I guess is a fair trade-off. This mini pup head is a weird, but nonetheless cool addition. And lastly, and in my opinion the biggest change with the newest update, is with the Sally stage play fight. So originally, the fight here always went the same way, where after the first phase, Sally would hop into a car with her newlywed husband and zip off to the next phase at their home. In my Lost Bits video, I went over an unused alternate path for the fight, which would result in the chandelier at the church actually falling and crushing the husband. Then, instead of driving off, Sally would mourn for a bit before the battle transitioned to a nunnery, where these also unused nun placeholder graphics were meant to be seen and would have apparently thrown rulers at the player. Instead, even if the unused path was modded into the game, the nun placeholders wouldn't appear, and instead they would throw placeholder projectile graphics of Cuphead's lead game designer Jared Moldenhauer's head. Yeah, weird, but awesome at the same time. 
Then the fight would transition to the last phase where now an unused deity form of the husband would also appear, and also shoot out Jared's head projectiles. Well, just like the previous things I mentioned, this alternate path has also since been added. Well, most of it anyway. After parrying up to and standing on these angel platforms a few times, now we can see the husband getting properly crushed, actual nuns have been added that throw rulers like they were intended, and yes, the deity version was also added, but now instead of shooting out the placeholder graphics of Jared's head, small little angels will push out what looks like a fireball on wheels towards the player. I still think it's interesting that the deity form of the husband was cut in the first place, as he always used to appear just off screen. In any case, I'm really glad this alternate path was finally added. Before wrapping things up, I would also like to dispel some misinformation that I've seen other YouTubers upload. Namely that A, the pachinko boss Patchy Patchy has been added to the game, and B, that the mini slime enemies were added to the Goopy Legrand fight. As of the making of this video, I have found no way to legitimately access these. And I would love to be proven wrong, but unless someone can show me some concrete evidence, I do believe they are still unused. So guys, don't be misled by these said YouTubers. Anyways, that's basically all of the newly added bits to Cuphead that were once unused. It's really cool to see Studio MDHR going back and adding all of these once unused bits to keep things fresh. And I think it's especially awesome for us to know that they were actually in the files of the game all along. I really hope they continue to add more stuff that's currently unused with future updates and the upcoming DLC. You already know I have my fingers crossed to see Robo Squidward make his official appearance in the game. And that will be it for this Found Bits video guys, and I hope you enjoyed this quick little update video. If you did, be sure to slap a like down below and let me know which one of these new additions is your favorite. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my Cuphead Lost Bits video where I cover a slew of other unused stuff by clicking on the card right here. If you're new around here and would like to stay up to date with me and the channel, be sure to subscribe here as well as swing by my Instagram and other social media things which will all be linked in the description below. But as always guys, thank you all so much for watching today, and I will see you in a bit.